So day two in my Octopus Cozy 9 heat pump installation. If you haven't watched the other videos in this series yet, then you can find the links for those in the video description. But today they got started on more of the pipe works and the water works. So one of the first things to do was to drain down my central heating system, empty all the radiators out and the hot water tank that's behind me here. And then I was warned that the cold water to the property would be off for a few hours. So I filled up a load of water bottles with water and got going at that. I think it was off for just over four hours in total so they're not too bad. As you can see behind me here they've made good progress on the pipe work up here and they've bored those holes out of the side of my house for the pipes, the flow and return pipes to and from the heat pump and we've got the new appliances in here. Meanwhile the electrician got to work on the rabbit's nest of wires in there and make a start on all the electrical wiring up here as well as finishing off the connection to the isolator switch there which had to be uh, adhered with CT1 to the wall there as well as raw plugs because of the external foam insulation on my house making it a little bit difficult to fix things there but no problem got around that. Just before 2pm I got a call from the metering engineer to let me know it was about 45 minutes away and it was quite amusing. He had to double check with me that I definitely understood that removing the gas meter altogether would mean that there's no more gas to the property. So if I've got a, a, a gas hob or a gas fire in the living room that wouldn't work. He prefaced that by saying, you know, I know that's an obvious question but I have to ask type thing which I thought was quite funny. So they must have lots of people not realising that if you have no gas to the property that will also mean your gas hob won't work. Uh, but yeah, he turned up, completely removed the gas meter, which was about a five, 10 minute job. So now we have absolutely no gas supply to the property and we're not paying that uh, standing charge each day for, for, for no use. Although I worked out that uh, there's about a 99p difference in how much I'll be saving a year and how much the, uh, the servicing cost on the heat pump will cost each year in order to maintain the eight year warranty. So I think I'm saving 99p a year on that. So that's good news. My gas boiler was then removed and uh, as you can see it's gone from behind me and then they almost finished getting all of the other piping work done. That should be finished tomorrow and they've left me with a hot water tank full of water but I will only have that for tonight so uh, I might have to smell a bit. Uh, I'll let my wife and daughter uh, have priority on the showers in the morning. My immersion heater has been disconnected and the new one hasn't yet been connected up and of course we've also got no central heating tonight but fortunately we're doing this during a mini heat wave so the timing's perfect. We've not used heating uh, for a little while anyway so that's all good. By the way don't forget that if you want to get your own heat pump or solar panel system installed by Octopus you can use my referral link that's in the video description to get £100 off your own installation and if you're not with Octopus Energy for your electricity and or gas supply and you want to switch to them I'd highly recommend them they're a great company with good customer service and I'm not being directly paid to say that but if you do sign up using my link in the video description then we both get £50 you get a £50 bill credit and so do I. But that's it for day two. In day three, we should be finishing the pipe work and getting the heat pump connected and turned on for the first time. So click the video on screen to watch that now.